In this video, Joe and I were on a road trip from California to Arizona. The purpose of this trip was to spend a little time exploring some new places before Joe played in a disc golf tournament in Phoenix. I brought along my Fuji X-Pro3 and my Leica M4P, as well as a handful of film. Starting off our trip, we flew into Los Angeles, California, rented a car, stayed in Airbnb, and then woke up early the next day to visit Griffith Observatory. Despite the crazy LA traffic, we made it there on time to catch the beautiful California light that Los Angeles is famous for. I was blown away by the beautiful soft golden light and the fog rolling through the hills. Since the light wasn't too harsh, I loaded up a roll of Cinestill 400D and rated it at a box speed so I wouldn't get any crazy halation. Afterwards, we grabbed some breakfast and then drove over to the ocean to visit Venice Beach. Once I finished the roll of 400D, I loaded up some Kodak Gold 200 before heading to Malibu for sunset. I didn't really shoot anything spectacular here, but the light was gorgeous and the views were spectacular. And it was just a really relaxing way to end the night. The next day, we took an early morning walk around the neighborhood that our Airbnb was at. And like our Portland trip, we made friends with all the neighborhood cats.
Our first stop in Joshua Tree was to Keys View, which was a little bit longer of a drive than we expected, but it was a nice little spot to watch the sunset over the Coachella Valley. next morning we woke up early again to hopefully catch another good sunrise. We didn't have much of a plan but we ended up at Arch Rock for sunrise and the sunrise actually felt like it took forever. The clouds were pretty sporadic so we'd get little bursts of light here and there followed by pretty much just overcast for the rest of the day. I got a few good images of the rock formations, textures and a few portraits of Joe, all shot on Portrait 400. The thing I found about Joshua Tree is that it was oftentimes very challenging to find unique compositions. Everywhere you look in person looks incredible and it's extremely beautiful, but when you're trying to compose an image, oftentimes I found everything kind of blended in with each other. So for me, I tried looking for places where the light, texture, or shapes would create a little more interest. We also saw our first Cybertruck, kind of cool. But the thing that was even cooler was this massive sun dog that perfectly surrounded these rocks. There's a massive sun dog all around there. Sun dogs are usually kind of common in Canada, but I've never seen one this big before. We continued exploring the area, including the Choya Cactus Garden. Apparently it's pronounced Choya, but I think Chala sounds better. The Choya Cactus are some of the most interesting looking plants, but what really intrigued me were the ones that actually looked like they were dying or were dead. They kind of had like this skeletal like bone structure beneath what you would normally see.
During the next part of our trip was to Phoenix, Arizona. This was for Joe's disc golf tournament and on one of her practice days, we decided to head north to Sedona. We did a couple of easy hikes there and the first thing that I noticed about Sedona was the incredible landscape and how different it is from Canada. The red rock formations and the sandy trails made for a really unique desert landscape that was a lot different from even Joshua Tree. The lush green plants and trees contrasted the red rocks really nicely and it just made such an incredible landscape. It was extremely bright out and I wanted to make sure I capture the colors of the vibrant landscape so I loaded some Portra 400. Whenever I visit someplace new, I'm always interested in seeing how different the plant life is. It often makes me wonder if people from other places feel the same way about visiting Canada and the ordinary plants and things that I would normally see on a daily basis is so different than what they're used to. After our time in Sedona, we quickly realized that just an afternoon is not enough time. So we'll definitely have to make a trip back for a longer visit. That was uh, not something you get every day to be out in a beautiful spot like this, you know? Oh yeah. Have some music and birds. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. That was cool. That was really thank cool. Thank you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. For the last few days of our trip, photography-wise, I spent just wandering around the area and the neighborhood that our Airbnb was at. It's one of my favorite things to do while visiting other cities, just to try and get a sense of how other people might live. Every neighborhood and every city has a different feeling to it, and that's just something that I've found a lot of interest in. I shot all of these photos on a roll of Fuji Superior 400. Thank you.
As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these types of videos or other film photography related videos on my channel, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe.